Hello everyone, welcome back to the new episode of my tutorial series on software development. In the previous episode, we have successfully added a source feature in our user module. In this episode, we will create and design login form for our billing and inventory management system. So without further delay, let's move to our episode. First of all, let's open our project which is any store so double click and open solution that is any store or solution if you have another name just open your project it will open on visual studio so this is our user module now we need to create a new form for our logging system so go to solution explorer and just minimize bl and dl and on a ui folder just right click on ui folder then add and new item so we need to have add a windows form so click on windows form if you can't find windows form just go to the visual c sharp items and you will see it so select windows form and type a name i will I'll type frm and login so then click on ok so this is our login this will be our login form now we will make changes and make some tweaks in our default form so select the form and go to properties and in properties let's go to border form border style from from in in our form border style properties change to none and it will it will look like this it's plain so we will make it long like this this looks okay to me and I will change this background color to the color we have given to our header so just go to uh, the login form and select the form and go to properties then on our background color go select click on this arrow and go to wave and I will look for light blue or something like that uh, see green not see green uh, this is it this is our color in our header so I'll use this in our background and above this I'll use another panel so go to the toolbox and search for panel so drag and drop this panel over here and just resize it it should look nice and select the panel and go to properties and here go to the back color and select white so I will select white white so this is our form uh, you can select any color you like so but I've selected white so I'll go with this so let's add some level which, uh, which shows login here so I'll drag and drop on uh, label so I'll just search LBE label drag and drop here I don't know if it's in center I think it's in center so go to properties and in properties I will type its name LBL header and in text where is text let's find text just type login and we need to change its font type and size so we are using sego ui so i will go with that sego ui and its font size will be it should look a uh, little bit bigger so i'll go with 14 and bold okay this looks good to me let's position it to the center a little bit to the left okay this is okay i think let's add another two label for uh, two or three levels for one for uh, username one for password and one for uh, user type so let's go to toolbox and 
drag and drop labels first one is for username i'll just copy and copy ctrl c and paste it here for three labels so i have three labels let's change its name so go to properties and then name lbl username and then change this text to username username then change this properties uh, sego ui sego ui and regular and font size will be 10 10 or uh, 8 is okay for me so for another one another one is passport so select the label 2 and go to the properties lbl username username and then change i think this one is password so okay lb lbl p a s s w r d password and then change this text to password password and change this font properties to sego ui okay so this is it and the last one is properties this one is uh user type so i'll just change this name to lbl user type and text will be user type and font properties will be sego ui so i'll just select sego ui and click on ok so this is now we have to we need to add a text box for username and password and drop down box for user type so let's go to the toolbox and search for text box text box drag and drop and then I will change this properties go to the properties and this will be txt username and its properties will be sego ui and font size will be 10 and border style will be fixed single okay so this is it so I need to make it a little bit bigger up to this one and I'll just copy this and paste for the password so this is it then I'll need to change the properties of password field so this one will be txt password so let's drag it to little bit nearer and this one also here and now for user type we will use combo box for drop down so search for combo box C O M B O combo box so drag and drop combo box here and make it to the size of username and password now we need to change its properties go to properties and first change the name it will be C M B user type and its font properties will be sego ui and its size will be 10 and its border style will be uh, we don't have border style so this is it for uh, user type now uh, we need to add a button to click for login so let's uh, search for button uh, let's drag and drop button here and I will make its size to same as these text boxes and a little bit bigger I think this will be okay so let's change these properties go to first go to label label will be btn and login and then font properties I think font properties will be sego ui font and then its size will be 12 okay let's change this text from button 1 to login let's change its border style or font style so this flat style will be flat so it looks amazing now let's change its background color properties and background color to green 
let's search for green 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 I think this will be okay now we need to change is uh, font color for font color and we need to go to for color and let's select white okay this looks pretty good now let's give proper spacing to all of these I'll just move it a little bit to the top I think I missed those labels so I'll just select all of this and move a little bit to the top okay a little bit now this is it but we haven't added our uh, different user types so here we will add user type just select the combo box and click on this little icon in top of the box so click here and click on edit items so here we have two types of uh, users will one will be normal user so one normal user will be user and another will be admin so this is it then click on ok so we have added successfully the two different users here now let's check how it looks on browser I'll just click on start sorry we have uh, we have set our default form uh, to the admin dashboard now we need to change it, it to the login form so we'll just go just go to the solution explorer and click on program.cs double click on program.cs and here change from admin dashboard to frm login So hover over the error and click on show potential fixes so click on using any store.ui so this is it so just press ctrl and s to save changes and press and start so this is how uh, our login form will look like but i don't want this to appear on top or bottom or anywhere else i want this to open on center of the screen so let's just close it we haven't added any close icon we need to add close icon here so just click on this red button stop button so go to the form login design so here we need to add a uh, login uh, or close close button so go to the tools and search for picture box we'll be adding picture box to add a close icon here so drag and drop picture box here and change is properties so it will be p box close we don't have any close icons right now so we need to download a icon so i'll just open a browser and go to icons8.com this is a free site where you can download uh, any type of icon for free so i'll search for close press enter so i'll use this one so just select and click on download so i'll just mm, go to the folder where it's located i'll just cut from here Control x and paste it to the desktop so here it is now we will add this icon in our login form so click on this picture box and go click on this icon over the picture box and choose image so local resources import and then here in desktop click uh, desktop and search for the icon this is our icon so open it and ok size mode to stretch image then we can adjust its height and width so this looks good to me uh, just add the functionality to close this form when it is clicked so double click on this icon uh, this will create an event so here we will type the code to close code to close this form so the code is simple this dot close this uh, code will close the form so control s to save the changes 
and go to the login form since the form appears anywhere in the window we need to appear this form to the center of the screen so just select the form and go to properties and in this property start position we need to select center position center screen so this property will open our form in the center of the screen so control s to save changes and let's start our application now our form appears in the center of the screen and we have the field to type the username and password and we have user type user and admin but i don't want this password to be shown in plain text instead uh, i will add a property where the password will want to be shown so let's go and change the properties let's click on this icon if this works or not this works perfectly we only need to change the field of this password so select the text box password text box and go to properties and search for password character so i will type x any letter typed in this text box will be changed into x and so the plain password won't be seen let's save these changes and start our application let's type the username vj and password i will type one two three four five six so password is not seen in plain text instead it is it's showing x so we have a secure uh, password to type so this is it guys we have successfully designed our login form for our inventory and billing management system uh, in this in the next episode we will create business logic layer data access layer and add actual functionality to login our user so thanks so much for watching if you like this video don't forget to like and share if you want to see more videos like this then don't forget to subscribe and click on little bell icon if you have any problem related to this video then don't forget to comment i'll reply as soon as possible so once again thank you so much see you soon bye bye